Missouri Senate Republicans have passed a bill that would strip Planned Parenthood of any public money, including through Medicaid. Currently, the organization does not perform abortions in the state. Well, the organization offers STI testing, cancer screenings, and other services, but abortion remains illegal in nearly all cases in the state. Missouri Capitol Bureau Chief reports from Jefferson City on the policy. What is anti-abortion legislation going to do in a state where abortion is already illegal? Well, a Republican co-sponsor of the bill admitted it's really a symbolic gesture, but she says it's an important one. I think it is symbolic. I think it says that we as Republicans, you know, want to protect the life and that we, you know, consider in infant in the womb actual life. State Representative Wendy Hossman is a first-term Republican from St. Peter's and voted in favor of the bill that would keep Planned Parenthood from receiving any public money, including from Medicaid. Hausman said it's about sending a message against abortion by withholding Missouri dollars from Planned Parenthood providers in other states. Even though they can't do it in Missouri, they do it in other states. And so we don't want to be affiliated with that. The cost of that message, though, would be the services that Planned Parenthood provides in Missouri. STI testing, cancer screenings, and wellness checks, just to name a few. But we are especially under-resourced in rural areas. Whether that's Central Missouri, Joplin, Springfield, all of those parts of the state rely on Planned Parenthood as part of their safety net system. I asked Hausman, are you concerned at all about the loss of services that, that Planned Parenthood currently provides in Missouri. I think there's other places that you can get services, and I think that when we look at just one, that kind of monopolizes it, but we need other services to count on, not just one company. Democrats staged an 11-hour filibuster in the Senate before this eventually passed after midnight. In the House, Democrats called the move a campaign year stunt by Republicans. They've gone so far on abortion at this point when, they, when the Dobbs decision came down that they don't know what else to do. They don't know how to signal to their base that they are super pro-life. So all they can do now is, is stunts like this, like defunding Planned Parenthood. This bill has now been passed by both the House and Senate, but because the Senate made some tweaks, it now goes back to the House for a final sign-off before going to Governor Parson. In Jefferson City, Joe McLean, WGEM News.